Hi folks, Doug here. Welcome to yet another board game channel. And yet another turn of Eldritch Horror. Doing combat with Shudamel, uh, who wants to just see the world burn. Um, mixed bag for our first turn. Um, a couple of our investigators are in uh, bad shape, sanity, or health-wise. Uh, Jim is delayed and is going to have to fight a monster. On the other hand, we did manage to move Doom back one, which, against Shudamel in particular, I think, is a good thing, because it's uh, holding off the disasters that could happen. And the disasters, oh, they're bad. Okay, well, let's get into this. See if we can uh, salvage things. We're going to be doing a, going to be doing some resting uh, to try to get some healing done. Oh yes, and everybody has hypothermia, even those of us who are in the heart of Africa, because magic. Um, all right, so let's get into it. Uh, we've still got Agnes Baker as our lead investigator. So, um, yeah, we'll start with her in London. Okay, Agnes in London. Um, yes, she is going to rest to begin with because her sanity is just down to two. So she's going to rest, putting her back up to three sanity. And we're going to also give her another health back, putting her up to five health. The other thing we're going to try to do while resting is get rid of the hypothermia. You can see when you perform a rest action. Oh, right, you cannot recover health. I knew that. Uh, but we are going to roll a die and hopefully get rid of this. Actually, probably should have rolled. We're going to roll for that first. <laughs> uh, so, we have 50 50 chance, and yes, she got rid of it. So, we'll go ahead and give her that. Uh, Maybe she doesn't get the health anyway. She probably does not get the health anyway, because this game tries to make things as difficult as possible. Okay, we should be able to get it back next turn. The other thing she is going to do, because there's not much to do there, um, just to be on the safe side, we're going to pick her up a focus as her second action. All right, uh, now on to Jim Culver over in Arkham. There is poor Jim, uh, who is delayed, so the only thing he gets to do is stand up, and he's going to have to face the hunting Bayaki when it comes to the encounters. Oh well, so be it. Uh, yeah, we can't even try to get rid of his hypothermia. Well, we'll see how he does. Uh, on to Trish Scarborough, who is still over in Russia. Okay, Trish um, is actually in okay shape. She's still got four health and four sanity. Um, and even though it would be nice to give her the hypothermia instead, I'm going to move her towards the direction of the heart of Africa, uh, just to give us an extra... Investigator there working on the mystery. Uh, so, for her first action, she will prepare for travel by taking a train ticket. Then, uh, we're going to have her travel by rail to Istanbul, spending her train ticket to move a little bit further along to the pyramids, where she'll just have a wilderness encounter. And for our final actions, uh, down to Akachi Onyele. Right, Akachi resting. See if she can get rid of the hypothermia. And she did, she got rid of her hypothermia. Uh, and she gets a sanity, and I'm assuming she probably doesn't get the health because getting rid of the hypothermia sort of equivalent to healing health. Um, if anybody has any opinions on that one way or the other, uh, let me know. Had a, had a quick 
Google search for it and eh, couldn't find anything that talked about it. So um, I leave it at that. Akachi unfortunately is stuck at one health. Hopefully we're not going to lose an investigator right away on the uh, on the second turn. Um, all right, to make things a little easier, uh, she is going to take a focus token. So hopefully she's less likely to die. Okay, she'll get a reroll somewhere. All right, uh, that's everybody's actions. On to the encounters. Okay, back to Agnes in London. Uh, right, I haven't shuffled this deck yet. So, we'll do that and see. London. You interrupt a group of cultists about to sacrifice a large muscular man. A cultist monster ambushes you. Okay. So, we will just have a look at, well, they're not too bad. Well, we don't have to do a horror check, which is nice. Uh, we're going to get a strength minus one. Yeah, which is only one. Uh, yeah, she's a two, so that'll knock her down to one. Uh, so she's got a shot at this. Not much of a shot. Let's see, uh, what does she have? No profane tome doesn't help. Uh, oh, right. She has the Storm of Spirits. In resolving a combat encounter, you may resolve a lore test in the place of the strength test using the same modifier. And if we do, we'll end up flipping the card. So her lore is four, which means she's actually going to get to roll three dice instead. She just needs one to fight him off. And she got two. So before we do that, we will flip over the card and see, resolve the effect based on your test results. One plus. Oh, nice. The spirit, the spirits siphon the creature's life force, feeding it to you. Nice. If you defeat the monster, recover one health or one sanity, then flip this card. Well, I'm going to give her a sanity, uh, putting her at four health and four sanity. Things are going better. So, what happens? If you defeat it, the man you rescued introduces himself as Bulldog Drummond. Uh-huh. And tells you of his adventures, spawn a clue. Which is, yeah, the most likely thing to happen in London. Come with us. Go in and just rifle around the supply without looking. And space 14. Right there. Not too far. All right, well, things went swimmingly for Agnes. Let's see if we can keep it up. Ah, uh, yeah, over to Jim, who's got to fight a monster. Okay, Jim is fighting the hunting Bayaki. So, first of all, the sanity check, we're going to do will minus one, trying to prevent two Sanity damage. Uh, I'm just going to check to see. Uh, no, he doesn't have anything that will help with this. Uh, so he's just going to be rolling two dice. Oh boy, here we go. Now we blocked one. Uh, he's got instilled bravery once per round. When an investigator would lose sanity, you may test will, uh, that lore rather, which he's got three of. If you pass, prevent the investigator from, well, we might as well. Um, hopefully there won't be another big incoming sanity hit. So yeah, he's going to test his lore to see if he can uh, fight that off. So he's going to roll three. He just got a single success. There we go, he's prevented, it says up to two sanity, so he prevents the one that he would have gotten. Result in still bravery, one success, casting the magic requires a payment of blood, lose one health. 
Well, that's wonderful. So now he's down to three health. And now it's the actual fight. Well, it's not going to do more than one damage to him. We will be doing strength minus two. Um, that is, his strength is two. So that will be a zero. Well, that'll be a one. Because you always get at least one. Um, do I use the alchemical concoction? And get, it just seems kind of a waste to get like plus five when the monster has only got two. I mean, if he succeeds, he's got it half dead. And you know what? Agnes can come and help. It means it won't get an encounter this turn. But yeah, I don't want to use up that concoction yet. It's just, it's too, it's too strong for this particular monster. So, we're going to see if he can prevent the one damage. No, he doesn't. So he didn't do anything to it. He doesn't prevent the damage. Uh, putting him down to two health. If that Instill Bravery spell hadn't backfired. Yeah, I think we'll probably team up with someone next turn. Uh, Alright, let's see uh, what happens with Trish over, um, over in Africa. Alright, Trish is on the Pyramid Space, which means she's just going to get a generic wilderness encounter. The terrain ahead of you looks impassable, but going around would take too long. You'll need to find a way to move forward. Test observation. Oh, her observation's four. That's, that's her strong suit, being a spy and all. Yet somehow she managed to fail. <laughs> and she doesn't have a clue or focus. All right. If you pass, da -da -da. if not, you trip over the uneven ground, lose one health, and gain a leg injury. Worst spy ever. So, going to lose a health, putting her down to three. And we will just go through the uh, head injury, internal, back, internal, leg. Leg injury. When you perform a rest action, roll a die on a five or six, we get rid of it. During reckoning, she has to test her strength and flip the card if she fails. Ugh. Oh. Agnes is the only one having any luck this turn. All right. Uh, let's see what happens with Akachi. Okay, Akachi, who will probably need to roll some dice is going to try exploring Gaharn again. Work on our mystery. As you explore the ruined city, you cannot shake the feeling that you are being watched. Whirling about, you find yourself staring into the shadowy face of a hooded figure. Ah. Unable to distinguish any features, yet unable to look away. Uh, will minus one. Okay, good. Will is her strong suit. She has three. She has four, rather. So she'd be rolling three. And she passed. So, the follow-up. You feel a force acting on your mind. You lash out at the hooded figure. Strength minus one. Uh, she has a strength of two. So she'll be rolling a single die. We're going to spend that focus that we took. Yes, success. If, -da, there we go, if you pass, you throw yourself at the figure and fall to the ground, but when you recover, the figure is gone. Place one Eldritch token on the act of mystery. Hey. Now we're going to put that on exploring the Harn. So we are halfway to solving the first mystery. Everybody's in terrible shape and may die. 
but we've made a modicum of progress. All right, that wraps up the encounter phase, which brings us into the dreaded mythos phase. Okay, here we go. There's a two in three chance that this is a rumor. Yep, rumor. Well, we'll spawn our clues first, as always. We're going to need to spawn two. Uh, digging through without looking, and grabbed two clues. One is in Rome, which doesn't happen because Rome is devastated, so we discard that one. So we only get one. Yeah. On space nine. Up here in Greenland. All right, and we will be putting the uh, exclamation token on space seven. <sighs> A dozen unpleasant-looking strangers have settled into Panama with a large collection of astronomical reference books. There is something unique about this place and time that allows them to rip apart the fabric of reality. Stars aligned. Ongoing rumor. As an encounter, an investigator on Space 7 may attempt to find these strangers based on observances of the stars test observations, so I think we'll be sending Trish over to do this. If they pass, they convince La Policia to remove these strangers. Uh, they may spend clues equal to half, so we've got to spend two clues to solve the rumor, and on reckonings, oh boy, we advance the omen by one. That may undo the good we got in our first turn. Blech. <laughs> okay, so Trish needs to get some clues. She can at least spawn one herself. And she can pick up another one somewhere and get herself over to Panama. And flush those guys out as soon as we can. Because we do not want Doom to reach those Aldrich tokens and cause mass devastation across the globe. Well... We'll see what we can do about it next turn. Hope you'll join me then. Thanks very much, everybody, for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing to the channel and for liking the videos, both on YouTube and Board Game Geek. It's very much appreciated. And we will see you next time when we go through yet another turn of Eldritch Horror. So long.